now then, and welcome back to another episode of Nemgo Evolved. How you doing, Ego? What are you doing? I'm doing good, mate. I'm doing good. I'm just chillaxing. Hope chillaxing you know around the house, just chillaxing. What have you been doing in your live streams? You've been uh, chillaxing yeah. with the peeps in your live streams uh, um, and make, building all this stuff, which means that we've now got this. steel, baby. All the steel. That's pretty much it. What's Three this? Hours this is steel. Immersive engineering blast furnace with extra blast preheaters to make it faster and steel. Oh, yeah. And we've got 105 steel ingots at the moment. Very good. I want some of those. And also, possibly the most important thing, the rock crusher. The rock crusher and crushed obsidian seems to be the gateway into technology. Almost as much as making those things uh, that make chipsets. Chipsets and crushed obsidian just seem to be the thing. Uh, that and steel. Mm -hmm. Seems to be the thing. Um, but today, I have got my miner's hat on. Check it out. Got my miner's hat on. Because yes. I want to sort out my mining tools and get tons more diamonds and emeralds and stuff. Um, because I would like to work on some applied energistics very soon. And so I need to do a lot of mining to get some good stuff good stuff there's not a lot of good there's there's a fair amount of everything in here but not hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of everything there's quite a bit still to do yeah it's not a, a, a vast array is it yeah i see that we've only got 20 diamonds and three emeralds you've just used an emerald because we don't have four emeralds a bit earlier yeah you're making one. you're making a steel battle axe with some stuff on oh my days i want one of those you put an emerald modifier on it what does the emerald modifier did the durability or something? 50% 50, 50 durability. But really you got mossy on it. as well. It really didn't need it. I'm just at this point messing. Oh my days. Look at that. Um, but anyway, so emeralds. I could go mining for emeralds. It might take a while. Or I could abuse these villagers in the corner over here and try and figure out some trades of what they want. And I favour the abusive villagers. I would also like to put a little bit of a an extra modifier on my uh, stuff, which means I would quite like to have um, um, have a magical wood, which means I need some magic enchanted books. And villagers sometimes sell magic enchanted books if you get the right one. Uh, we seem to still only have four villagers here. Okay, so we've got wheat traders. Uh, and we've got quite quite a fair amount of wheat over here in the farm already that we've been harvesting and collecting and sorting out for a while. So wheat should be okay. We should have some decent supplies. We've got another little wheat farm down here, which is good, for selling the wheat to the traders. And there's, have you used all the wheat up out of the cupboards? Mm, yeah, I have, sorry. Did you eat all the bread or did you trade already? I made it into toast. You made it all into... Oh, okay. So we've got no wheat to trade the villagers. It's okay. I've got it. You you just pretend you're busy. Pretend I'm busy doing what? Recording the fact that I'm not doing anything. Washing your hair. Cleaning your glasses. Picking your spots. I don't know. Whatever you youngsters do. Go into uh, twitch.tv slash wimpinego and sub in. Right. So uh, you've, you've been to the nether. Excellent. You've got four blaze powder. Thank you very much. I, I went solely to get you blaze powder. No other reason. I went just for blaze powder. Not getting. Have you seen my shiny axe? Oh, can I have a look at your new shiny axe that you've just made in the last five minutes when I said I was going to make a shiny axe today? Oh, uh, look at this shiny axe with all the sharpness on it and everything. Oh, wow. Where did you get the idea to put a load of sharpness on a battle axe? I believe it was out of a fortune cookie. A fortune cookie? Ah, oh, nothing to do with what I said I was going to do this episode. No? Oh, it well, was a fortune cookie well, that said, Dear thank Trevor, Thank you very make much. This. I'm glad. Look what I've achieved this episode. I've made a steel battle axe with extra durability and amazing sharpness on it. It is awesome. Thank you very much, my good friend Ego, for making that for us. Uh, next, would you like to make me a big hammer? No? No. Ow! Did that hurt? That's quite a good... Yeah, just good, a little, mate. It's a good smack, that, isn't it? You just made I'm it, on, really. I'm on half a heart. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, well, 
Best not use that on each other too often then, had we? <laughs> uh, four hearts, but I've got armor, so maybe. Hey, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Calm down, calm down. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so what I wanted to do while he's gone was get some more villagers going because we just don't have enough uh, villagers over here that sell meaningful things. We've got two traders that can do um, uh, that can do the things that I want them to do. Oh, the things. Thing. Yeah, we've got two traders that can do wheat and one of them is unlocked and one of them is extremely locked. And that is not a good thing for anybody it's involved. Good, yeah. So I'm going to make some of these. Uh, I should have made some more. I should have made some more gold into nuggets. Dang. Have you got any gold nuggets lurking around that I might need to use up first? I've got some gold. No, I've got some gold on me. Oh, it's okay. I've got the gold. It was the whether you got some nuggets already made from gold ingots. No, I haven't. Okay, that's okay. And so that'll do for that. And then the lasso is... I think it's just... Uh, just Yeah, string. We did have a good supply of string earlier. I hope we still have. Uh, we've got a hundred and something string so yes we have good good and that makes us four lassoes there you go i'll let you have two of those lassoes oh, well, well. well you don't have to have any then i'll just go and get the lassoes and i'll go and lasso some villagers that, that looks like too much hard work i'm gonna stay here and wash me out too much hard work stay there then go on. i will uh, wander out to the other village and grab four awesome new villagers and see about making six emeralds. That's all I need to do. Make six emeralds. That's all I wanted. Literally, all I needed was six more emeralds to make one emerald block to make what was it? A silky modifier. Yes. 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 So, yeah. It is. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. It is silky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this dude in the yellow is selling proven frames, which is good for later. So I brought him along. This guy is buying wool, which is good because we've got a load of um, cotton and string and stuff. This guy is doing coal. So 22 coal for an emerald. And you've just been mining, so you might want to get the Pikachu guy. Uh, and this guy is doing um, straw. Not straw. Uh, doing wheat. And, well, he might actually give me most of the trading that I want by the looks of this. Make seven, eight, nine. Job's done. Okay, so that one guy did all that for me and should unlock his new quest soon enough. Uh, the other guy over here, I may as well get some more emeralds while I'm at it. Boom, boom. There we go. 14 emeralds overall from this lot. Thank you all very, very can much. I, can I kill that Pikachu guy? He, he does He does a 22 coal for an emerald. I if want the hat. You want the Pikachu hat? Yeah. Ah, uh, but... But you got to catch them all somewhere else, mate. you got to catch them all somewhere else. Fine. Fine. Don't kill the villagers for it. If you can get another villager that does coal, then that'll be okay. I didn't find any trading for books anywhere. Right. Um, but if you, uh, I've got a few levels. So I want to do okay. some first level enchants on some books to make some magic wood. I need to do 12 first level enchants. Uh, do you have an obsidian supply? I have eight. Eight is we only need four, so that's okay. Is it four? Four to make an enchanting table, yes. And I think it's five, isn't it? Not. Uh, four. I'm pretty sure. And a book. How did you? Oh yeah, no, it is. It's a diamond, isn't it? Oh, where five. where did all the books go? You the moved. Books, the, the books are clearly over here in the shelf of books. Clip in the shelf that should mark books. Two hundred thirty-seven of them. Yeah, we did get quite a lot of books. I I get. Top shelf, top, top left. Top hand left hand pink. I didn't want all of them. The I only wanted one. Did you literally just take sixty-four? I just literally took a whole stack. I thought that it would be the other way around, really, for all it's this. The kind other of stuff. way around in Jabba. Ah, oh, in Jabba barrels, yeah. Okay. Got your beard, Jabba, with you. <laughs> Enchanting table achieved. I will put that just there for now because, well, we don't need it for anything. And I want uh, 12 books of no levels, of one level apiece. I don't care what's on them because it's all turning into magic wood one way or another. Did you know 
that you can turn books into paper in this as well. No. That's crazy, isn't it? You can turn books back into paper. You get two paper for every book. Boom, magic wood. And it doesn't look like it has any special properties because of the level of the enchants. Because they stack. And if they... Yeah, I am sure in, like... Pack, in a different version, I would say, okay. It might be a different okay. version or a different pack that if you use, like, level 30 enchantments on the books, you could get uh, a higher return rate. Uh-huh. Uh, right. I need to put these magical wood into... What was it I was going to make? I was going to make a binding. Uh, where's the binding? A tough tool binding with magical wood in was three magical wood boom got it awesome sorted perfect like it uh that was for my broad axe but now i'm going to do two axe heads one of the axe heads is going to be obsidian and one of the axe heads is going to be steel if we have that available um steel boom. downstairs we do have a lot of steel don't we yes so i'm going to need a second broad axe head and i'm going to need some plates uh, steel plates or mad uh, steel plates or paper plates? <laughs> paper plates. No, don't get it. Okay. No, that's bad, mate. That's just terrible. Wow, that's quite a lot of steel ingots. Wow, we've got like sixty foot. Wow, you've been really busy. Is this automated to put the the iron into the thing, or do you have to do it manually no. still? Yes, still do it manually. So you still did a lot on that stream, just manually sorting them out. Yeah. Why do you think it took me so long? Well, I don't know. Streams last for three hours because you're talking to the viewers sometimes. What viewers? People turn up. People turn up. They can even subscribe now, can't they? Ah, no way. Where did oh, you hear that rumor? I heard that rumor just the other day. You got what was it? Twitch mm -hmm. affiliate now. Means they like me more than you. Yes, that's right. Which, which isn't hard. Absolutely. So, then we put them together. Let's see. The hammer. Let's see what we we're going to get with the paper first. I might not do paper because, well, you know. Um, that is a writable reinforced three. It is an effective durability of 818. It's got an attack damage of only 1.5, but that doesn't matter because we're not using it for an attacking. Uh, bonus versus undead, which is good. The mining speed is absolutely terrible, though, at 1.4. So I have a feeling, I have a feeling that that is something to do with the paper, the mining speed of two on the paper. Uh, next, we we'll have a look at the big axe and let's see what that is. Uh, this is a battle axe. So we've got the two different heads, the magical binding and the tough tool rod. We end up with a modifiable reinforced three obsidian uh, battle axe. Effective durability, 3,871, which is good. And I'll just put a mossy on it. The attack is only four hearts, but it is plus eight attack already, which is better than a diamond sword. Um, and it's got four modifiers available and a mining speed of 8.5. So full, full steel was 10 mining speed, wasn't it? Uh, with, yes. With three modifiers. This is 8.5 with four modifiers. I think I like my obsidian half-half black uh, battle axe. The steel with an obsidian edge looks pretty cool. The uh, magical wood binding looks pretty cool. It does a fair amount of attack damage already. And it's got a fair amount of durability. So I kind of like that. I'm going to keep that one. Kind of sounds pretty good, that. Yeah. Um, Nems, axe. There we go. I love that. And then that can get rid of that thing off my toolbar. Uh, the the hammer, however, I think I need some better plates. So I need to have a look at what plates type things there are. Electrum large plate. And what's that give you? Mining speed seventeen. Fancy reinforced one. Electrum is pretty epic looking. So Electrum is. Um, silver and gold together in it. Easy. Easy peasy. In fact, you've already got some electrum that, made up as well, haven't you? That seems very easy. 
Yep. So it's probably going to have a big downside of it very, very um, rubbish or something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So let's put four of those in and four of those in and we'll see what we get. Let's set up the hammer with the two electron plates with the obsidian head and a steel rod. It looks pretty fancy. Even before we put the silky on, it looks like it's a silky hammer. It is an effective durability of only 1,487. Mm -hmm. mm, bra, bra, bra. Not great. The mining speed is 5.46. Awesome. Put a thing on that. Eh? Put an emerald on it. Put an emerald on it to make it more durable, yeah? 500%. What's the speed of your hammer? Couldn't tell you. Is it terrible? Is that your terrible silk touch hammer? I couldn't tell you because I don't have it on me. It may actually be th it may be 3.4, actually. Okay, I, I want a really fast hammer because I want to just smash through the world. Uh, so I'm going to try making a head and a tough rod of Electrum as well because we can. Okay, so I've just been looking through all these different hammers and looking at their actual speeds and things and durabilities and stuff. And the the best of the best is this Awakened Draconium Hammer at 90,000 durability. Attack damage of 9 hearts, which makes it a plus 18 attack damage overall. Kill somebody twice in a shot. Um, mining speed of 6.4 and a mining level of 10 whatever mining level 10 is it's got to be like above and beyond redstone and diamond and obsidian and all that kind of stuff mining level 10 just like i call it the buzz light year the buzz uh, is to level. infinity and beyond um <laughs> whereas this one right if i if i put the full electrum in here the full electrum is a 6.8 mining speed and it's all about the mining speed cuz i can regenerate it fairly quickly with a little bit of this and that uh, if i take it down to a reinforced um obsidian hammer it is still 5.46 which is still faster than quite a lot of things including um cobalt and manuelium cobalt's normally the fastest thing in the game and that is 5.6 this is 5.46 so slightly slower but i can add modifiers so that's pretty good and when I change the tough tool rod for the steel tool rod, my durability goes up, I believe, but my mining speed does not go down any. Uh, 1600, and that is 1400. So actually it goes down. Yes, okay. So the steel makes it go down for some reason. Durability goes down. So there's no point having that. So we'll steel? Have steel goes down. Electrum is more durable than steel. But there are other little tough tool rod things that we could potentially do with like slime and stuff. So I wanted to see if we've got enough slime balls. I think we have. Okay, I think this might work. I'm not 100% sure. But made the slimy mud with two a dirt and a sand. And then four slime balls. And that makes a slimy mud. The slimy mud then gets cooked into a slime crystal. And then I use the slime crystals to make the tough tool rod, which might work. Uh, and you're sure we can smelt these um, tool pieces back down again, can't we, that we don't use? Yeah. That's all right then. So that then goes into there and does make a tough tool rod some slime, which is two times durability. So let's see about that then. That now makes us durability of 2,288, which is a lot more obsidian mining level which means i can mine just about anything and a 5.46 mining speed which is still very very fast in comparison to normal things which is awesome so we're gonna have that finally uh we're gonna have that <laughs> uh and that's that good good uh then let me just throw these other bits and pieces into there for now we don't need them yet okay What's the ting ting tings? You're doing the ting ting tings. Hi ting ting. Yep. Um, I want to put some silk touch on it. Oh, so. Have you got any steel on you? I do not have steel on me right now. No. Sorry. Okay. Um, then we make a silky jewel so that this will be a silk touch hammer. 
and it doesn't change the looks of it by much but it does give me the silky which gives me silk touch modifier on it which is nice uh, and then we'll see how just just how quick it works first before I add any speed modifiers because if it works fast enough on the stone then I won't need to worry about it for mining purposes too much yeah that's not quite as fast as I wanted it to be uh, but silky all the same is pretty good for making it so I've always got enough stone on me um, so we're gonna need to add some more mining speed and then I'm going to need to go and do a load of mining because I'm using all these resources up and uh, we need to start branch mining. Boom, boom, boom. Ting, ting, ting. And let's see. We've got quite a few blocks of redstone. There's lots of redstone because he goes doing lots of running around mining at the same time. Uh, keep so yourself busy. You've got to keep yourself busy. That's right, mate. Uh, so 50 for one level. That's 45 and five more six and one more for the maximum of that one there okay so now we've got one modifier remaining this one's got 7.9 now mining speed after one wow. upgrade of speed 7.9 which is pretty pokey gotta say that's not not a bad thing it's well, pretty, it's all that one, mate. That's pretty fast. Pretty fast. I can afford maybe one more. Is there anything else that I might need to put on it for this final modifier, though? Um, because I guess the repairing is going to be uh, obsidian. Obsidian repair isn't too bad. I could go without needing to repair it for quite some time with a um, well effective durability of 2,000. It's doing nine blocks a time. If I put the mossy on it, or do I put another speed on it? Mm, I'd put mossy on it. Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I can do both. I can do both. Let's see. Um, to put an extra modifier on something, I think it was like a, a golden block and a diamond. A gold block and diamond at the same time puts an extra modifier on making it so that I've got two modifiers instead of one left and then I can put some more redstone on it to speed it up oh there's a block of diamond and a golden apple as well there's always that one um, to add another modifier on that way and then we go up to 8.5 and take the mining level up one more uh, 95 there okay and then one more and then just one more after that to make a hundred now that's got a minus speed of 9.4 and I can still put a mossy on it at the minute which is pretty epic but again if I don't put the mossy on it and a decent um, repair job every now and again with a piece of obsidian on it that's pretty fast that's pretty fast um, I want to kind of have a, an area that's going straight forward. I know I filled this area in, so oh yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty chopper. Oh yeah. Where are you mining downstairs? Just downstairs, yeah, just underneath us. Just to have a look to see what it was like, speed-wise. And now I've got a nine point something or other. Eight, did I say? Uh, nine. No, it's a ten point nine at the moment. How did it go up to 10.9? It was definitely 9.8 a minute ago. Maybe the more I use it, the faster it gets. Is that what the fantasy thing does, maybe? Electrum, when it gets warmed up, it gets faster. I don't know. Yeah, can you imagine? That would be pretty cool. Um, it's got 10.1. Yes, it is going faster. Okay. 10 10.11. 10.13. 10.15. 10.17. What is that about, man? What is it going getting faster the less durability? Definitely get faster. It does, it does sound that way. And ten point two seven. Wow. Let's have a look. Let's have a go. Have a have a little play with this one then. Okay, have a look at it now. So check check out the durability. Ten point two seven. Durability of forty nine two. 
Pretty fast, isn't it? 10, 3, 6. That is, it's got to be the durability, then. It must be. But let's see if I put a heel on it. Have you got some torches so you can light up down there, yeah? You okay? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to just walk off and leave you in a dark corridor with uh, no torches to light it up before oh, you leave it. Oh, I thought that was cool. You're fine. Uh, but I can do a little bit of mossy on it, and let's see what that does to uh, make the speed go down or something. Um, I don't know how this works, but this could be what Fancy Electrum does. Maybe people are already leaving down below in the comments exactly what's going on. And uh, no, uh, you're so stupid. Uh, clearly, it, uh, it, it does stuff and things. Uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, yeah. That's exactly. I don't know. I forgot what the thing was called. Fancy, wasn't it? Fancy, yeah. Okay, so 10.36, and as my durability is currently 1460, I'm just standing here with it in my inventory so that I can see any changes that might happen. 1460 and a 10.36. 1461 and it's still 10.36. Stonebound bonus just went down and the mining speed went down. The stonebound bonus of 0.49 adds up to a speed, the maximum of which is 2.13. So it will add, thanks to being stonebound, whatever that is. Stonebound thing in it. Is it's stonebound that, not that it gets better the weaker it is? Maybe that's what it is, yes. So it's stonebound is the modifier that's making it faster uh, at mining. Even though it's the first like few hundred durability that takes off it that actually makes the stonebound go up quickly. Wow. I'm quite pleased with that though. So I'm pleased with my hammer. And what about my axe? Let's go and check my axe out. Let's go and ask these trees a question over here. Because I like the look of my axe, but I'm not so sure on whether or not it's a good axe or not. So let's see. If I just aim down here somewhere. Um, at this guy. Boom. Do a 3x3. Three three. How fast can I get through this? Uh, that's pretty quick. That's That's quick enough for me. Maybe I'll make this one another attack value one, so that it's uh, using axes as combat weapons, and they all can also chop down the trees fairly quickly for me as well. Because that, that's still a quick tree. That's still a quick tree. We could also throw down some, like, um, big jungle trees or whatever, and then chop down a whole tree at once. That's possibly a more mm. efficient way of using these big, broad axes. Is to knock down whole trees like jungle trees and put all of that wood into uh, into charcoal manufacture or something that'd be pretty cool we don't actually have a jungle tree do we we don't actually have a jungle wood tree yet no not at all but we soon will Moa. soon will but that is all we got time for for today's episode folks so thank you all very very much for watching me make my awesome hammer of awesomeness uh, me and Ego are going to do a little bit of mining and then we'll see you back next episode for some more derps on the Nemgo Evolved server. Until then, goodbye.